Hi friends, welcome to the part 7 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will discuss a little bit about DTOs. So DTO stands for data transfer objects. Well, it helps us in defining the, the structure of the object we intend to receive with all its attributes. Okay, and it also helps us with these uh, function parameters. So it, it really becomes hard if you have a lot of parameters. Like we have the title, description, and maybe in the future you can have a created date, created by, user ID, so on and so forth. And let's say I have the created date attribute here. So I have to add it here in the function call. I have to add it here in the destructuring thing. And I have to define it here in my create method here. All right, three places. But this is not the recommended way. So the recommended way is to use DTOs. So I have created a folder here by the name DTO. I'll create a new TypeScript file. It's nothing but a class. So I'll name it create to do dot DTO dot ts and I will explore the class with the name create to do dto here what i need is my title of type string and a description of type string i'm not expecting any status from the user because that is by default open and now i can have some validation also so right now if the user sends a sends an empty title or an empty description my postman or my api will still still accept it because there is no validation in place i can show you that uh, i can go to my create to do and i can remove this and i hit send uh, my server is not running yet oh it's still running okay let's hit send and you see it works so my title is empty and i see a to do with a empty title to so an empty title this is not what we want so i'm gonna delete this okay so we need some validation and for that there are a couple of packages that we need to install i already installed it here uh, that is the first one is um, class validator and the second one is class transformer so this package, let me show you the package, how it looks like. And npm chess, this is the official pack, uh, npm website where you can, from where you can download the package. And this package has a lot of decorators pre-built for you for validation, right? These are validation decorators, like is defined, is optional, is empty, is not empty, so on and so forth. Like you. You can also define whether, whether the parameter should be a boolean or a date or a string you can validate that so here in our code we will use a couple of them like first one is is empty i don't uh, is not empty so this should not be an empty value so as this one and i also want to give it a length length and all of these decorators are getting imported from my class validator package. So length takes three arguments, min, minimum value, maximum value, and option. So instead of min length, let's use max length. Okay. So the maximum number of characters I want is 15, let's say for the title. And if it exceeds, I'll, I want to send a message to the user that says uh, maximum count maximum length is 15 characters so now let's save these changes and go to the to-do controller so now i will simply annotate this so now earlier it, it did not have any annotation and i can annotate this with create to do dto i'm expecting a create to do dto 
from the body and here also I can simply pass the data which is the create to do DTO and here also I will accept create to do DTO of type create to do DTO okay now this that, that error has gone and here I will replace this with const title description equals to create to do DTO okay that's all so now if I save the changes and I go back to my postman where earlier it worked with an empty title now if I hit so if I hit send now it will still work because there is one thing I'm still missing is the validation pipe so I need to validate this body so I will have to use a pipe so it's validation pipe okay so once you save these changes and make sure there are no errors go back to your postman hit send boom the title should not be empty right I give a title of insanely long characters and hit send maximum length is 15 okay but now if I go here and say new title and I leave the description blank I expect a same message here okay now my validation is working validation working I hit send it gets created isn't it cool and now anytime you want to add a new parameter you can simply go here and add it okay it's pretty simple let's say I want to create a date create a date I'll say date is date right and is optional I'll make it an optional field here but now don't have to go here do anything here in the body and here in the service just need to add maybe to do dot date equals to create dto dot create a date if that is required at all in our case we don't need anything else our create dto is working fine so as our service and everything else so the next video we will create the rest of the routes and that will be the delete route uh, the patch route to update the status and that's it and we, then we'll look at the authentication part okay so till then please subscribe to my channel like this video share it with your friends put your comments in the comment section below and and i'll see you in the next video so stay safe and stay healthy Take care and bye-bye.